What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and this is a fully modded Legends Pinball Micro. I'm going to show you everything I did to mod this machine. Mainly I'm going to show you how I connected everything and all the settings to get you started. If you're interested in the Legends Pinball Micro, check out the links in the video description below. Starting with the pinball legs. These are going to release in the first quarter of this year, 2023. So from top to bottom, the height is about 29 and a half inches, which brings up the control panel right here to about 31 inches and the top of the pinball around 47 inches. It comes with adjustable feet. So they're self leveling feet. And then it also has this lock nut so they don't move. Right here, I'm installing a slide in and out tray for my PC. Over here, I installed a cup holder because I don't want people putting cups on top of here. That could be a mess. So I installed this cup holder. If you decide to install a PC and connect it to the Legends Pinball Micro, I highly suggest getting the Vibs board. You got this power splitter and you plug in both power cables to that splitter to power your Vibs board and the Legends pinball. It also comes with a toggle button to switch from input one to input two on the back screen. And everything is plug and play. You don't have to cut any holes. Everything is pre-cut thanks to the amazing design. Be sure to install the micro switch the correct way. If you fit the micro switch properly on the button, you should get a clicking sound. Even installing the Vibs board is easy to install. It has mounting screw holes. You just go ahead and install the screws and plug in the plugs and you're good to go. When you remove the video cable, be sure to grab the white connector, not the wires, and then spin it around and plug it into the Vibs board. Next, disconnect the ribbon cable connection using the latch Close the latch, make sure everything's secure on the ribbon cable connection. If you're getting any video distortion, you might want to reseat these connections. Next, plug in HDMI cable that is coming from the PC and plug in the button. Last, always plug in the power. Now, if you decide to get a PC installed, I highly recommend getting the Alienware Alpha. You can find them on eBay for around 250 and I got this sliding tray. This is an under desk tray and that's really easy to install. It just takes about four screws and from this side you don't see any of the wires or the CPU. Now this is the power for the Alienware Alpha. This right here is the HDMI cable connection. You can see the blue connection that goes to the back of the Legends Pinball. And then this connection right here, which is a USB to HDMI adapter. So I can connect that to the back box so I can see the, the translate screen. Uh, that's in Pinball FX3. And then right here is another USB, but this is a USB to USB cable connection. So I can use the Legends Pinball controls to play Pinball FX3 on my PC. And then back here, I have my HDMI input right here. That's from my PC. And then right here, I have the USB to USB cable connection right here, plugged into my Legends Pinball. Hit the channel button. And then make sure you have all these settings correct. OTG, main display, 90 degrees, and hit OK. Be sure to press the toggle switch to activate the Vibs board for PC. My collection. Here's a little demo to show you what it looks like when everything is set. I'm going to go ahead and show you all the settings after this demo.
I configured all the controls using Steam. Even the rewind button works using a mini keyboard is highly recommended. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I set everything up using the settings. I activated big picture mode in Steam and you wanna click on the gear, go to controller, and then select these check marks, Xbox, Xbox, extended, and generic gamepad. You wanna click on unhide device and you should be able to see how to configure it. First, you wanna select define layout, then select your primary action button using a mouse or a keyboard and go ahead and program the play button. And then next, go ahead and program the at games button. You can skip through the other selections by hitting the down key on your keyboard, then left shoulder, select the left button, and then right shoulder, select the right red button, and then the D-pad, go ahead and follow up, down, left, right, and program the front panel D-pad. And then the last buttons is left trigger and right trigger, and then be sure to save using a mouse or a keyboard. After you select save, it's going to ask you if you want to share with the community. I select no. So now you can navigate using the D-pad and you can use the select button, which is the play button, and the back button, which is the at games button. Now be sure to check mark in settings to start Steam in big picture mode and to automatically start Steam when your PC starts. I also dragged and dropped the FX3 icon into the startup folder so that game starts right away. And this is how I have my display settings right here. This is display two, which is the back box, and display one is the main screen. I set this to 100%, and this is set to 1080p, which is recommended. I have it in landscape mode. I have it set to extend, and I made this my main display. So make sure you're Display one is your main display. You just double tap and you can move them around. If you have no audio, go to your desktop, click on the small icon speaker, and then select a different audio source. This is my audio source right here, as you can see. And be sure that is selected. Right here is my folder with all my back glass images. This one, program files, 86, and then Steam, Steam apps, common, pinball FX3, data, Steam, and here's my images. These are 1080p images, and the type is PNG. If you want to get everything laid out in portrait mode, you have to ask and request for uh, cabinet mode so you click on the cabinet mode and then email them and then you have to take a picture of your setup and then within 24 48 hours you'll get the cabinet code basically you can copy all my settings um, these are my settings right here 270 is my orientation and then next dot matrix is on Dot matrix horizontal position 2170. Dot matrix vertical position 440. Dot matrix horizontal size 790. Dot matrix vertical size 240. 
back glass repositioning on back glass horizontal position 1921 back glass vertical position 20 back glass horizontal size 1280 back glass vertical size 700 I got a 1920 by 1080 full screen I turned off uh, I suggest turning off ball trails and I have shadow quality low reflection control all right here's the controls right here if you want to copy those I got flippers LB RB um, I got launch button right here so at this point, everything is configured properly and we're going to go ahead and test out the back glass images and some of the tables. And everything works. Um, the heptic works, the nudge works. And if you want to increase on the heptic speakers, you just increase the volume. As you can see, you can see the heptic volume controls right here. Press channel button to toggle. So when you hit the toggle button, which is the channel button, you can adjust the heptic speakers for more force feedback. And then hit the channel button again, that's your volume control. I highly recommend the Legends Pimple Micro. If you're interested in the Legends Pimple Micro, check out the link in the video description below. And if you know anyone that might be interested in the Legends Pimple, click on the share button to share this video to them. Helps one out. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks guys for watching.